don't forget the family prayer. Oh, Jesus will meet you there. Oh, when we all, when we all get together, but oh, don't forget the family prayer. Brothers and sisters, we are taking a few minutes to recognize some of the members who passed on in this last year. One, Sister Brooks. Two, Brother Warner, and three, Sister Sosa. We are fortunate to have known them up throughout this last year. We are asking everyone to stay focused in the Lord as they did. I pray that the good Lord will give all of us longevity as they receive. May the good Lord bless us all. Amen. There are some things I may not know. First thing I noticed about Jerry when I first met him was that this dude looked like one of the OJs. I thought maybe Eastside had gotten a celebrity. And uh, I spoke to him and said, hey, bro, what's your name? And when I spoke to him, he said, my name is Jerry Warner. So I knew right then and there he had a deep voice. And so uh, I said, man, have you ever been told you look like one of the OJs? No, bro, but I tell you, I wish I had OJ's money. And it, and it just like from that time on, it just took off. And Jerry was always a real... Uh, passionate man about his family. And we, I miss that about Jerry. He and I are really close because there's some things that me and Jerry shared as, as men, as brothers in Christ. And he always tell me, he said, Charles, I love the way you teach the Bible because you make it really easy to understand. I told him, you know, I, I tried to be, make life and make God word as simple as possible. And, and it seems like from that time on, me and Jerry just click. You know, he's one of the country boys like me. And one thing I learned about Jerry, he can he can show old cooking. He can he can do a mean mean brisket. So uh, that was something we had in common. But you know the thing about Jerry, he's missed because of the way he loved his family so much. He loved his grandkids. And I used to tease him a lot <laughs> because I used to tease him. I say, man, are you jealous? Yeah, man, I love my wife. And every once in a while, you know, Jerry was a fancy dresser. I mean, you couldn't nobody decide how to dress Jerry. And so one day I seen him in this really nice suit. Of course, every Sunday Jerry was dressed. And uh, I told him, I told Sister Juan, I said, you know what? You better watch him or his women gonna get him. And he just looked at her and I said, uh oh, look out now. But we was always laughing and joshing. But that's one thing I missed about Jerry, his passion and love for people. And we, we, we were just good friends. And like I said, we shared a lot of stuff. And when I heard about his past and stuff, it hurt, it hurt me real bad. So those are those are some of the memories that me and Jerry had. And I just want to say to you guys that have family, do whatever it takes. Stick as close to your family as you possibly can. So again, I, those are some of the highlights of my friend Jerry's life and my life. And 
I love Jerry and I miss him. Well, church, uh, as we reflect on and we honor the members who have recently passed away, just wanted to share a few words with you about Sister Mary Sosa. Um, got to uh, interact with her more and more as her health, unfortunately, started to decline. Um, I had to take communion out to her. I took DVDs of the service out to her because she wasn't able to always attend service. And also got to do some other things with her that I probably ordinarily wouldn't have been able to do uh, if it wasn't for the, the fact that her health was uh, getting bad. But I got to find out more about Sister Sosa and how she did things for her community, how she was involved in so many projects and she was the president of so many different things, uh, which amazed me. And I was, uh, I admired her for doing so many different things for so many people, trying to help out not only her family, but also others who couldn't do for themselves. Um, I can remember once when Sister Sosa had bought this camera for her computer to be able to do the Zoom Wednesday night Bible classes and the camera wasn't working right. So I went out to try to help her with the camera and she told me that her grandson had bought that camera and we couldn't find any instructions. Uh, we couldn't find uh, the name brand of the camera. We couldn't find out anything about that camera. So we finally had to give up. And Sister Selsa said, my grandson bought it. I'm going to give it back to him and tell him it don't work. Uh, it was things like that that I'll, I'll, I'll never forget. Um, just sharing uh, a moment with someone like that. Um, I, I'm going to miss her. I'm sure others are going to miss her as well. And I think I made it through without shedding a tear, which was a victory within itself for me. But let's all remember Sister, the legacy of Sister Sosa. Yvonne Brooks, one of my dearest friends. I enjoyed meeting her when I first came to Oklahoma. She would call and talk to me and she would always encourage me. We found out we had a lot of things in common. I loved art and theater and showed it, so did she. We would get together and go to the Civic Center and watch plays I especially liked spending time with her when we went to go see The Color Purple. I've always enjoyed her smile and her energy. Every time she'd take a trip or go out of town, she'd bring me back a hat. This is one of the hats that she purchased for me. She said, not everybody can wear their hats well, but you do it well. We'd often call and talk to each other um, We'd share our good news and we'd, we'd cry together, we'd talk, and we'd uh, just have a good time. When she left this world, I had a feeling to come over me that I know that she was with her Lord and Savior. <laughs>
just as soon as my feet strike Zion, we're gonna move on up a little higher. Gonna pull on my robe and glory. I'm gonna tell my story. How we made it over the hills and mountains. I gotta thank the Lord for his healing fountain. Don't you know who we go? Sing it again, we're gonna live on our feet. I can't wait till we live on our feet. When, yeah, tell me, will you be there? Tell me when. Greetings, brothers and sisters. On behalf of the Ring family, we are saddened on the loss of our brothers and sisters we've lost throughout this year. We are so thankful and we appreciate all of their contributions. We extend all of our condolences and all of our prayers out to all who have lost a loved one. May God bless. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 1 reads, For we know that if our house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Paul closes out this chapter in verse number 21 by telling us, For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, so that we might become his righteousness.